Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathix, and today we're going to talk about Eskimos, bodybuilders, and video games. And we're gonna we're gonna talk about how those three things all can teach us about mastery. So, like I said, the first thing we're going to talk about is Eskimos, right? Um, or the Inuit, whatever they're called. Um, but when we think about them, um, what we don't realize is that because they live in such a unique area in the world, and snow is there like 24-7 almost, um, their language has been completely affected by that environment. And so instead of having one word for snow, they have several words for snow. For example, there's the snow that you can build igloos with. There's the snow that you have to be careful for or else you'll fall through the ice. There's snow for eating. There's um, snow for playing, right? There's so many different words for snow. But if you think about it, how many words do you know for snow? Because I know for me, I know like one, <laughs> snow. And the, um, the same could be said about several different um, cultures that live in specific areas, maybe a place that's extremely hot or places that are surrounded by water, right? You'll find that there, there's specific terminology for, you know, maybe fish or for the heat. And, um, and so, so what we find here is something very interesting. To the novice, to someone who's not as familiar with snow, we just use one term, but the more detailed you get and the more masterful you get in terms of understanding snow and its multiple uses and its multiple um, effects on human life, then you start churning up new words and new terminology. And, um, and so now let's go and take, and take that same perspective and let's look at it from like the bodybuilder point of view, right? To your normal everyday person who doesn't even go and work out, we know logically you have to go and work out, work out and exercise, right? That's, those are our terms. Then to the, to the person who is sort of the novice, right? They go into the gym and they know the difference between like say strength training, um, and, and cardio, and they know that diet has something to play, and they know that sleep has something to play in it as well. Then you go a little bit further, go into athletes, right? And athletes, then it's like another tier of, of mastery where here are people who understand performance goals and specificity of training and diet and nutrition also break down into like more specific things rest breaks down into specific hours of sleep and also time frames to rest from certain exercises before you go out also time frames for you to perform your sport or not and then you get into those super elite circles of like bodybuilders and just people who are extremely focused on their fitness and their health and now you start not just breaking up the muscle groups into like chests and chest and back but you know you learn about the traps and you learn about the glutes and you learn about the the quadriceps and and all these specific muscles when it comes to nutrition you learn about not just fats and carbs and proteins but you learn about um, how they're metabolized and how timing comes into play from when you've worked out and how much rest you've gotten and what day of the week it is. I mean, it gets very intricate very fast. And I, you know, you could go on and on. 
about all the different things. The difference between, um, you know, fast twitch mu muscle fibers and slow twitch muscle fibers. Um, and on and on and on and on. I, I could go on forever about that stuff. So it's um, the, the further and further you go down that rabbit hole, the more and more you are learning mastery. Now, part of it is the knowledge aspect and part of it is the application aspect, right? I could know all the Eskimo words for snow from studying a book. But until I actually lived in the areas where they lived and experienced it, I wouldn't really understand what it meant. There are deeper meanings in language. There are deeper things beyond that, beyond just the surface level. And, and, and that's where connotations come in. Same thing with, um, with working out, right? Same thing with bodybuilding. So now let's go into video games, right? Take, um, take any kind of massive multiplayer online game right um something like warcraft or um star wars knights of the old republic or there there's a ton of them out there right but when you when you first start off you're simply going for some sort of like class you know i am a smuggler i am a wizard i am a fighter right and initially, that's good to get you started, and you start doing those, fighting those lower level monsters and things like that. But as you begin to pick up experience points, then at some point you hit a new level, right? And those experience points can be then donated or dedicated to a more specific skill, or sometimes uh, like a subclass that's even more specific. So. Now, not only am I a, um, not only am I like a Wookiee and a Ranger, I'm a Master Hunter or something like that, or a Camp Master or something like that. Like, so the point is, um, it's the specificity and taking this big, large thing and breaking it down into smaller items, right? And, um, and relating them with things in your life so let's go back to the um let's go back to the eskimos right there is a snow that they know to avoid because it means danger there is a snow that they can use to eat there is a snow that they know they can use for play and building and all these etc 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 um bodybuilders know that there are certain exercises that they can do to burn fat faster. There's certain nutrition tactics that they can use to um, to let, you know, hydration and dehydration techniques and, and eating certain foods at, at certain time periods that help. Um, the specificity also, the point is those the specific terms and things are applied for a particular outcome, right? You're, you're not just doing it to do it. Like there's a particular outcome that you're looking for. And so what mastery is, is finding those things within whatever niche that you're in, with whatever you know skill set that you're working with, and drilling down to what are those specific things that I'm, those specific outcomes that I'm trying to get to, and then mastering them. And then also taking those little things and applying it to the bigger picture. And that's where the polymathic mindset comes in, finding connections between those, all those little things so that you not only have depth of mastery, but you also have breadth, right? And when you have depth and breadth, then you can finally see a problem for what it truly is. And you can find the most effective, the most tailored, the most appropriate response, solution, answer to that problem so hopefully if anything I've entertained you today but uh, I hope this helps you guys and um, you know I, it as I leave I would say you know just think about like what are the skills that you're trying to develop right now what is the what is the big block that you fall under are you a fighter are you a mage you know um, are you a healer 
And then from there, what break it down into a few more categories, maybe three main categories, you know. And then from those three main categories, break them down yet again to three more. Break them down until you get to the smallest pieces. And then from there, then you know what to focus on because those are the outcomes that you're looking for. And each time you, you master one of those skills, you're building upon your mastery until one day you've accomplished it all. You've become a master in that. And when you break it down into those smaller, the smallest little things, the smallest pieces of that puzzle, those are actionable items, things that can be done very simply within sometimes a day, sometimes a week, and at the most a month. Like very quick action items that you can get serious traction and start building momentum. So what is it in your life that you're doing now that you, that you can identify so that you can start to set that roadmap towards mastering? Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. And um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like. And if you want to see more helpful videos like this, please, um, you know, please subscribe. Okay, take it easy.